DOJ employed reverse spying in an attempt to shut down investigation into Russia collusion hoax. You know, one of the most corrupt organizations in our government is the DOJ and the FBI. They doing everything they can to go against um, the American people. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my uh, merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Devin Nunes subpoenaed the DOJ and FBI for documents related to their involvement with the Russia collusion hoax when he was a congressman and chair of the House Intelligence Committee. In response, the DOJ engaged in, re quote, reverse spying to try to stop the investigation. Nunes alleged in an interview that aired on Newsmakers by NTD and the Epic Times on December 21st, quote, it's all common knowledge now that the FBI, DOJ, the Democrat National Party, they were all in cahoots together, taking made-up phony dirt and taking it before a FISA court, said Nunes, who was chair of the Intelligence Committee from 2015 to 2019. Uh, but at that time, the general public didn't know about that collusion. Quote, at that time, nobody knew that publicly. We knew that the FBI and the DOJ knew that we knew that. They knew that they were under investigation uh, by Nunez's team. So what did they do? They target my lawyers so they can try to figure out what we knew, when we knew it, and what we were going to do with the information. Just, I mean, these people are charged with protecting us. These are the same people that spying on us, making up, making up dirt and try to set people up, inspired on people that's investigating them. Nunes stated that to suppress the investigation, the FBI and the DOJ purposefully tried to find blackmail to use against Nunes's staff. Quote, it wasn't like they were in search of some crime. What they were, uh, what they were really after was intelligence and potentially blackmail to figure out how they could stop the information, Nunes alleged. But ultimately, the DOJ's reverse spying was unsuccessful, Nunez stated, and he was able to openly shed light on the cooperation between the DOJ, the FBI, and the Democrat National Party to bring down then-President Donald Trump. According to Nunez, if the DOJ was acting in compliance with the law, it should have informed Nunez when it demanded Google turn over personnel, um, personal emails and phone data from at least two senior intelligence members of Nunez's team. Nunez specified that the team members were working on the congressional probe into the Russia hoax. Quote, look, it's a serious issue if I've got staff that work for me that are handling the nation's highest secrets. If I have staff that are somehow doing something wrong, the DOJ should have come to me and told me. Nunez said that the only way the DOJ... The uh, only way for the DOJ to get around that requirement is to use national the National Security Division and essentially accuse Nunez and his team of being agents of Putin. Quote, there's no other way around um, informing me. They have a duty and a responsibility if they are staffers that are involved in some shenanigans or nefarious activity. They should have come to me immediately, Nunez states. But... Nunes said the DOJ never informed him of a potential issue with, with his staffers. And the reason is the DOJ was acting outside of a valid predicate and instead acting on a lie. Nunes stated unequivocally that there was never evidence to suggest that his staff were Russian agents. As such, Nunes claimed there are only two possible reasons for the subpoenas against Nunes' staff. Quote, the only two logical reasons. They were there to grab intelligence on us as we were conducting our investigation. And two, to look for anything they could possibly do to find blackmail so they can stop this information from coming out and their involvement from coming out. 
And we know this is now par for the course. This is the tactic of the DOJ and the FBI. This is what they do to, uh, uh, to protect themselves. They go after people like that. They try to find dirt. They try to dig up stuff on people um, so they can try to blackmail them. That's why I said if you are on the right, if you are conservative, and you are speaking out, speaking truth to power, you're speaking out against the DOJ, you're speaking out against the Biden administration, you're speaking out against the FBI, you better make sure you have all your ducks in a row, you better make sure you're paying your taxes, you better make sure everything is straight, because they're going to come at you with everything they have to try to take you down from disclosing any of that truth. But um, let me know what you think, leave your comments down below, like, share, subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh, say, say, 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 o